And stay away. Oh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Back again. Not a 69, but it's, it's okay. I don't even know where are we. What do we finish? Rob Labritz, three over 74. And what do we, what do we, where are we at? Uh, you are looking like you'll be T4, so that's going to be my first question. You've uh, gotten yourself into next year. How does yes. that feel? <laughs> yes, that is awesome. I am pumped to be exempt for next year. Uh, if I can do that and all the other majors, then uh, yes, that's the goal, right? You don't have to want to have to qualify again. Wrap up this week a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> wrap it up. How do I wrap it up? Uh, the people and the fans out in Pennsylvania and Saucon Valley were amazing. The golf course was unbelievable. Uh, the superintendent, um, all the USGA. I mean, you guys did a great job. It was a phenomenal, phenomenal tournament. Um, great week. What did you prove to yourself about your game? I proved myself I'm feeling more and more comfortable. I mean, I'm feeling comfortable. I don't it's not one of those things where I'm nervous. I don't feel like I'm out of my skin. I feel like I belong. I, I know I can win out here. I'll say it again. I know I can win, and I'm going to win, and it's just a matter of time, but I'm, I'm improving. I'm getting better. Yeah, Pete? Rob, being so close, from being from Pound Ridge, how many more ticket requests did you get over the weekend, and did, did they all show, and how much did they help you? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I, got, I, I have no tickets left. <laughs> I borrowed a few tickets from some other people. Um, people were great. Uh, the second part of the question, I'm sorry. Did they all come out, and then how much did they help you? We today? had a huge contingent of um, um, my team at Glen Arbor, my family, um, members, members from my other clubs that I've been at, friends. I mean, it was it was amazing. Uh, and then we made some new friends here this week at Saucon Valley, which is really really cool. Uh, it was so cool how the crowd has got behind me. I, I'm I can't wipe the smile off my face. I, I'm trying, I trying, <laughs> but I, I can't do it. And. Uh, I'm blessed. What's next for you schedule-wise? I got a week off and then the Bridgestone Senior Players uh, in Akron, Ohio, and then another week off and then I go over to the Senior British Open. Uh, and I don't know if this gets me exempt into that. I hope maybe it will, uh, so I don't have to qualify, but we'll see. On the right. Rob, I was talking to your son out there and he was telling me about the days, you, you know, you brought him to the club 10, 15, mm -hmm. you know, years ago. Yeah. What were those days like for you? I got to hang out with, with my son and teach him from the hole backwards. I taught him how to putt first and then how to chip and then how to pitch. He's got an amazing game. And, you know, his mom and I went, went through a divorce. Uh, so I got to hang out a lot with him on the golf course. For me, the golf course is my sanctuary. So to bond with my son out there was, uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's gravy. It's, it's, it's nothing I can explain. He, he's such a good boy and he's got so much talent to play. I wish he loved it a little bit more. <laughs> You brought, there's not a lot of players who bring their kids inside the ropes. <laughs> Why today? And during a round? I'll, I'll do it all, I've do, done it all the time. Anytime I see my family out there and my, my daughter's, you know, walking the fairways, she's screaming, dad, dad. I just love my kids. I mean, I wish I could pick up all the kids out here and give them hugs, but it, you know, people would look at me kind of weird. Um, you know, I, I just love being my family, the support they show me. Uh, and for them to be here this week was just, it was amazing. It, it was a, a cherry on the top. Well, Rob, we enjoyed you all week. Congrats on a great week. Thank you very much. We'll see you next year. Yes, in Wisconsin. Mm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations.